Hello my beautiful Taurians and welcome to your love reading for late December 2021. Thank you so much for your patience with me. I've just been so busy, you know, silly season is just keeping me run off my feet. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Let's get straight into your reading. I'm getting the strong sense from your pre-shuffle that a lot of you are waiting for something to happen within your relationship. You, you know, you're wanting to take the next step and it's going to be different for all of you. You know, um, for some of you will want to be moving in with your person of interest or some of you will be wanting to have the discussion about, you know, future goals, starting a family, something like that. Or even if it's a new connection, some of you will be wanting to know when your partner plans on introducing you to their family. It's some kind of step that you perceive to be, you know, proof of your person's feelings for you, proof of their desire to build a future with you. But, you know, I actually feel that spirit wants you to just, um, just allow it to come. You've got trust, all will be well. Um, you have remain optimistic about your connection because whatever it is that you desire is on the horizon, okay? And progress is being made in your connection despite what you're seeing in the 3D world. So some of you feel like your relationship might be lacking the momentum that you want. You feel like your partner is denying you that thing that you so badly crave. Um, but Spirit is saying be careful because you're projecting maybe insecurity, insecurities onto the relationship and you feel like that thing that they're denying you is going to be the answer to all of your problems. But actually, it's only a band-aid. You know, when that thing actually happens, are you really going to be feeling more secure within this relationship or is it just an illusion? Are you just thinking that that's the answer to all of your problems, right? So what is it that you need to heal? Is it an insecurity? I'll ask spirit, but uh, I feel like you just need to embrace where you currently are. Embrace the moment um, because everything is as it should be right now. And spirit wants you to use this affirmation. I am perfect who I am, where I am, experiencing exactly what is at hand. Okay. And we've got one step at a time. What is the rush? You know, there's no rush to the altar. There is no rush to have children. I know that a lot of women feel pressured because of, you know, the biological clock situation, but um, a lot of it's just societal conditioning or even conditioning from our family. You know, we're, we grow up and we are led to believe that, you know, we should be married by a certain age. We should start a family by a certain age. Others of you, it will only, it will be your own expectations that you've placed on yourself. Um, there is no rush. Trust that all will be well. Okay, one step at a time. Everything is as it should be. There are the message, messages clearly coming through. Change is coming, all right? Because you've got a card here saying open up to change. In the meantime, lighten up. So don't be so, you know, um, hung up on this thing that you want so badly. Um, instead, use your energy more constructively by acting as if. It's already here. You're already enjoying that thing, okay? Speak your world into being. So act as if, speak as if it's already happened for you, you know? Because it trains your mind, it reprograms you into thinking that it's already true for you. You believe that it's already here. Um, even if, you know, it's, it's not happening as quickly as you would like, you trust in divine timing, okay? So let's have a look at what it is that you want so badly. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Taurus trying to manifest in their love life, please. What is Taurus looking to manifest? Oh, yeah. See, you're trying to make future plans. That's the two of wands. Um, you want clear paths, clear decisions, a clear um, vision of what is to come in the future. You think that um, by making some kind of move or making some kind of decision with your person, that's going to be proof that they um, 
see a future with you is what I'm seeing okay but I feel like you're trying too hard it's becoming a bit of a burden it's becoming heavy because you want it so much um, it's insecurities okay so we've got the nine of wands perhaps you've got some trust issues perhaps you find it hard to trust this person unless they take some kind of action okay um, King of Pentacles is here, so so for some of you, it, you'll see this as you know um, proof that your par partner is invested in this connection. You know that they're serious, that they can be relied upon. Um, that's what I'm feeling. What is it that Taurus is hoping to manifest? in their connection please late December 2021 please yeah I'm definitely getting trust issues here the fool in the reverse you're wanting your person to take a leap of faith um, it's gonna be different but for you it's like it's proof that they can be trusted. See, this is you wanting to take things to the next level. You wanting to build foundations. And I'm getting for many of you, it will be moving in together or buying a house together. You know, the Four of Pentacles, I mean, Four of Wands talks about, you know, laying down roots. Six of Cups, for some of you, it will be family. It will be um, having that talk about uh, children. Some of you, it will be, you know, marriage, making things legal, entering into legal contracts with your person, um, just to solidify this connection. The star in the reverse. It's like, um, this is you um, needing to kind of remain hopeful, remain optimistic because things might not be moving as quickly as you would like. You need to trust that the stars are aligning and things are going to happen exactly as they should. You do have angels protecting this period of transition in your relationship. Things are coming together, even if it doesn't feel like it, but patience is needed. You know, the temperance card does talk about divine timing. Don't overthink it. We have the queen of swords in the reverse. I feel like you need to um, understand, you know, what insecurities are leading you to need this thing so badly. I've got neighbors right outside my window causing a bit of noise. I may need to pause this video, but we'll just see how we go. Um, Let's see this deck. Yeah, so you're hoping for some kind of new beginning within your connection. You're hoping something will come off the ground. A new chapter. It's kind of similar to my previous reading for you, I'm pretty sure, from memory, Taurus. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Taurus's message in love in late December 2021, please. What is Taurus's message in love? What is Taurus's message in love, please? Yeah, see, trust your angels. That's like that temperance card. Allow things to unfold. family issues so it could be that your person is uh, moving a bit slowly because they have responsibilities with other family members that are taking precedence you know that you you want to feel prioritized you want to feel number one um, that's what I'm getting but um, your person may have put things on hold or delay things because of family members they're feeling a bit overwhelmed okay so we've got expect delays and I feel like that's what's been happening things have been put on hold much to your displeasure and it's causing you to have doubts and insecurities about the future of this connection what 
Taurus's messages in love, please, in late December 2021, please. Yeah, so you don't want any more talk. You want your person to show you, demonstrate, prove, put in the work. You don't want um, confusion anymore about where this is headed. You want them to take a leap of faith. That's what's coming through really clearly. But I just feel like your person is needing to clean up some aspects of their life before they're able to give this new beginning to you and build this new life with you. Spirit is saying it's going to be worth waiting for. But this person's just a little bit stuck. You're going to need to hang in there because the future is you. They do foresee a future with you. They do imagine, you know, um, a future with you. The commitment, something more serious. Let's see what they have to say. Angels and Spirit, what does Taurus as a person have to say? What do they want to say to Taurus, please? Angels and Spirit, what do they want to say to Taurus? Yeah, see? Exactly, I'm seeing um, a theme here. They're saying it's been difficult for them to get the ball rolling to build this future they're sorry that things have taken so long they're needing to walk away from other things first yeah see um if family members or friends kind of interfered or got in the way of this connection or this new chapter within your relationship they're saying um, they're going to be fighting for this relationship and they no longer care about what other people say anymore, okay? Yeah, so you're frustrated because things are moving slowly. It's because they need to adjust to the changes that are happening, okay? Alright. Yeah, see, kids come first. Some of you, um, it will be children that have meant this person can't move as quickly as you would like. Um, your person is saying, I need to do things right. Please be patient with me. I do love you, all right? Okay. Yeah, that's a card about the need to resolve things first. Yeah, and I've got a card here about um, you requiring that they fight for this relationship, which is the whole theme. Okay. All right. Let's see what this deck of advice has to say. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Taurus's advice when it comes to love. Late December 2021. Yeah, so you've got a card here saying, um, careful not to read into words and actions too much because you might be reading signals that are not actually there. So that's you needing to realize that this person's love is not going to be proved through them taking things to the next level. It's a little bit more complicated than that and not so black and white. Okay. Open yourself to love. Learn how to open up and allow yourself to feel deeper emotions. Closing yourself off will rarely lead you to the fulfilling relationship that you want. I feel like this is more about your need to um, dive deeper into why you feel like your person needs to jump through some kind of hoop. What is it that you need to heal within yourself? It's that band-aid, it's, it's that whole, um, why do you think that um, this event is going to make you feel better? Right. 
let them take the lead. Okay, we've got let them take the wheel, step back and let them, um, you know, do what needs to be done. Trust that they're taking you to where you want to go. Show them that you have faith in their relationship decisions too. Okay. There's something that you need to compromise on. Okay, it could be um, when this change comes about, you know, you might have put a deadline on this event or this next step or this new beginning that you so badly want, but it's just not possible or doable for them. So you're going to need to compromise. It says learn the art of compromise, meet each other halfway so that you minimize the amount of friction and so you both feel valued and fulfilled. Um, you've got a card here saying respect your differences. So again, the need to compromise on something that you may not be seeing eye to eye on. It says you can disagree and still respect each other's opinions. See what you can learn. Um, part of what makes love so great is difference. See this card for love or money. You're confusing some kind of step with love. Love is unconditional. This person making some kind of move or decision is not going to prove anything, okay? So be honest with yourself and identify what is affecting your relationship so much or your, your insecurities. What's triggering you, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm feeling. Um, I'm just going to pull a card from the Rebel deck, Taurus. Angels and Spirit, what is Taurus's message in love? So keep your sense of humor, laugh, keep it light, keep it fun. Um, it doesn't have to be so serious. One more message, please. Angels and spirit, show me what does Taurus need to know. Money. So I feel like money or... or the, this person's level of investment is what's important to you right now. Love. Get some, give some. It will cheer your ass up. Okay. Okay. Just while this person sorts out what they need to sort out, you just, you just do you. Okay. Stop trying to change people or force things. That never works. Um, understand that things could be a lot worse than they are. So Spirit is saying be grateful for what you do have. Be grateful for the connection as it currently stands. You have a really good thing going. Don't ruin what you have. You're winning. This connection is winning. So celebrate what you do have. Celebrate your differences. Be grateful. Um, what you want so badly is coming, okay? I hope this reading was helpful, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!